this episode, we will be showcasing the Analog Heart Rate Monitor Sensor, or AD8232 Single Lead ECG Sensor for Arduino. What we have here is a real-time heart pulse in an Arduino serial plotter. ECG, also known as EKG, or electrocardiography, is the technology of measuring electrical changes generated by cardiac movement. The electrical change may range from hundreds of microvolts up to one millivolt. These change can be captured from the electrodes attached to the skin. The signal pattern is then processed by an amplifier circuit, which is the AD8232 in our case, and finally converted into a voltage that is readable for microcontrollers like Arduino. Therefore, recording the voltage change over a short period of time gives us a plot of voltage versus time. This plot is commonly known as electrocardiogram. However, we will not explain how to interpret the electrocardiogram here. Please always keep in mind that the sensor should not be used for medical diagnosis or treatment. A typical ECG device can be found in hospital and comes with up to 12 leads. With more leads, it gives a very detailed observation of cardiac movement. Unlike the 12 lead medical one, the AD8232 single lead ECG sensor is attached to three electrodes. The name single lead comes from the fact that the sensor gives the voltage between the left and right arm. The extra extrude placed on the right leg is for canceling out the noise between your body and ground. It is true that a single lead ECG isn't as powerful as the 12 lead one, but single lead ECG is still able to deliver a fair amount of information, which makes it quite useful in basic heart function monitoring, arrhythmias diagnosis, and educational purposes. The ECG technology is non-invasive, which literally means it doesn't physically penetrate into the skin. However, putting conductive electrode onto the skin can be dangerous. You will have to know exactly what you are doing with the sensor. To avoid any potential damage, we strongly recommend using a low voltage AC power supply, such as a 5 volt power bank, or a USB port from an unplugged laptop. Another common way to sense the heartbeat is to use the optical heart rate sensor, also known as PPG sensor. Here is the video about PPG sensor, and it is also available here. The following comparison gives you an idea of their pros and cons. In general, PPG is good in terms of lightness and simplicity, while ECG is more accurate and stable. Now, it's time to start building our Arduino ECG monitor. First, peel off the plastic layer and stick the conductive pad onto your body. One on left arm, one on right arm, and one on right leg. The conductive pad can be quite sticky, so it's a good idea to shave the skin before use. Also, the pad loses stickiness after use, so we recommend use new ones each time to get a more stable result. If six pads are not enough for you, there is an extra 12 pad pack available. Then, clip the lead onto the conductive pad, yellow to the left arm, red to right arm, and green to right leg. Next, connect the AD8232 chip in between the lead and your Arduino board. Connect to an Arduino board with an expansion shield or jumper wires. You can use jumper wires to connect black to ground, red to 5 volt, and the blue pin to A0. Or simply plug the pin header onto an expansion shield if you have one. Remember to unplug the power of the laptop and connect the Arduino board. In Arduino IDE, go to Example, Analog, open Analog In-Out Signal, and upload the code to your Arduino board. Once successfully uploaded, open the serial plotter. You will be able to see your heartbeat in the monitor just like this. You can also read the value from devices, such as an oscilloscope, or any other devices that supports analog input, but make sure the power supply doesn't exceed its rated voltage. Here are a few tips that will help you get a better result. Tip number one. Hold still during the measurement. Regular muscle movement also generates electric pulse, and you really want to get rid of them. Tip number two. Place the pad near soft tissue, since electric pulse can hardly travel through skeleton due to its poor conductivity. 
If you want to know more about ECG heart rate sensor, visit the wiki page here and check out specs, schematic diagrams, and more. Once more a reminder, the sensor should never be used for medical diagnosis or treatment. If you think this video is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to our channel to know learn about the latest open source hardware modules. If us have any thoughts or questions, please also leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.